So I thought I'd put together a video on how to install CFS3 onto Windows 7 32 and 64 bit operating systems. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I have the run set up here, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So a couple of things here. We want to do a custom install. Go ahead and click next. Now we want to uncheck create desktop icon and make sure that full install is checked. And we'll go ahead and click install about halfway through. It'll prompt you to run disk two, so you go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are at the end of disk two. Uh, there's an option to play now. Please do not do that. Uh, just go ahead and close the game or the install. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is browse to the main game folder. And we're going to scroll down and find our CFS3 icon, which is there. And we want to do a copy and paste to desktop. And we're going to go ahead and rename this. You can call it anything you want. I just kind of keep it simple. Win-7-CFS3. That works for me. So now we're going to do a cut. We're going to paste it back into the main game folder. And there's our new icon there. So we're going to right mouse click on it, go into properties, go to compatibility and check run this program in compatibility for Service Pack 3. And also run as an administrator. Click apply, click OK. And now we're going to have, go ahead and send this to desktop, create shortcut. And you just want to go in there and double check that those two settings came across. And they have. You can see they're checked here. So now at this point we can go ahead and run the game for the first time. Accept the agreement. And we'll just do a quick combat. Just kind of verify things are working okay. So the next step is we have to install the two downloads that are provided from Microsoft. Uh, we want to go ahead and do the first, the larger one first. So we'll go and do that. That's done. And we'll do the little guy. And that's done. So I always like to run the game again after we do an install like that just to make sure it went in okay. A little quick combat and looks good. Okay, and there's just one last thing we have to do here. Uh, we'll browse to the main game folder again. And we're going to look for a DLL. Uh, it's O L E A C C dot DLL, or OLEAC, I guess. Um, Windows 64 bit operating system has a trouble with this DLL and it locks up when you try and spawn in a multiplayer session. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that. And then we'll just run this game one more time. A little quick combat. Looks good. And one thing we'll just check here. Now normally if you did not delete that oleac.dll file, if you click on multiplayer and click anywhere in here, the game would lock up. So we'll just test that. And it didn't lock up, so we're good. Um, so I'll just close out of here. And we'll close the game down. And that's a firewall thing, we'll allow access for that. And that's it guys, uh, we're basically ready for flying online multiplayer with 64-bit or 32-bit Windows 7 operating system. I uh, hope this works out for you and I hope to see you in the air. Take care guys.